on. What's up, lawn dogs? I'm here training this noob. He's never done tree work. He's never mowed a lawn. Not professionally, at least, right? Not professionally. But he's, he's pushed a few mowers. All right, this is my first chainsaw that I've ever had is the Echo CS310. This is basically a bulb that you use to prime. It allows the, the gasoline to, to go through the engine. That's yeah. the first thing you do. Mm -hmm. And then you choke it, turn it on, and you turn it on, give it a couple times, put it back in, and then start it. But before you can do all that, see this chain? Mm -hmm. It's very loose. You can't work, cut a tree, anything, this has to be tightened out, so I'm going to show you how to tighten it. First, you find the proper tool that fits these uh, lug nuts right here. So this one's it. Twist it to the left. Twist it to the left. You don't have to take it out. It just has to be loose. See this little screw right here? This you basically turn it left or right, depending if you want to tighten it. Let, let me let me have this loose so you can see it get tighter. This is a very dull chain, so it'll cut, but not as good as a new one. But I think we'll be fine. So I'm gonna put this in here like a screwdriver and twist it to the right. Now look at the chain. What's it doing? He's turning. Tight. Now, we want it tight, not too tight. So the best way to do it is see how I can pinch it and, it and it goes right back. That means it's perfect. If you can't move it, that means it's too tight and it's going to have a hard time when you accelerate. It's going to use too much force. So now that this chain is tight, we have to now tighten the bolts that allow for this to tighten. Now, if this chain ever falls off, and that's the reason why we tighten it, because if the chain is loose and you're cutting a tree, it'll derail. And then now you got to take all this off and then put it back on and so forth. So right now, it's fine, so let's tighten it. Remember, it doesn't have to be super tight. Just enough. We did one. Here's another. This gas, this chainsaw requires two things. Gas, oil, and lubrication. The lubrication is for the chain. Because what happens when you have metal on metal? What happens? Friction. Friction. So we use bar and chain oil in this compartment. And here we have gasoline that's already mixed with oil for the engine. Like so, a weed eater. Like a weed eater, exactly. There are some engines, Honda makes some engines that you don't need oil mix. It's just straight up gasoline. But the cap will tell you, you need gasoline and an oil mix. It'll say it on the, mm -hmm. on the cap. Remember, this is a small take, so you don't need that much fuel. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. But we're full. Now that that's done, this one right here, as you can see, is black. This is for bar and chain oil. As you can see, it's empty. Look in there. Look at inside the chamber. You see it's empty, right? Mm -hmm. That means we cannot operate. You can operate it, but you're going to mess that up because it's not lubricated. So here I have the Poulon Pro bar and chain oil. Now, in an emergency, you can use regular oil in an emergency. Only if you didn't have any. Don't use it because you'll mess up the gears inside. Okay? Because bar and chain oil is different than regular oil. Since we have barn chip oil here, let's
Okay, now you can see we have oil in there. So we're good to go. So let's just leave this here. And now, we're gonna tighten. Remember, when you tighten this stuff, just enough. It doesn't have to be overpowered, just enough. Mm -hmm. Now we've got your chaps. We got your eye protection. Even though you have this mesh, you also need to wear protection for your eyes because small particle, particles can go through these little openings and go right in your eye. Okay, now we're gonna turn on, I'm gonna show you how to do it. The prime here has to be on right there. You wanna do it best on the floor with your foot on there, okay? Now the choke's in. This right here is a brake. With this display, it can go. If it's on, it's not going anywhere. It's a safety feature. So go ahead. Come on. Not yet. Hey Tony, can you get my glasses on the truck? Thanks. Let me turn it off so you can hear me. Mm -hmm. The main piece of the trunk is right here. Okay? It's right there. But you got all this in the way. So what we like to do, first we gotta cut this loose. We gotta cut that. I'm going to do a little bit of it and then you go ahead and then from there I'm going to instruct you how to do everything on your own so that you can do it by yourself. Okay. Turn it on. What is this? Is it on or off? Alright, so if you want it on, to take it off, come back. Because I want to get to the base, i got to cut a little bit of this. where we want to cut which is right there so we're looking about about three two and a half to three inches we're gonna cut through okay now here's what I recommend since the homeowner does not want to take out the root entirely we're gonna cut it as low as possible and that doesn't mean coming in at an angle what I like to do, lay this down flat and slowly, 